If you're just starting to play Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree, you need to know these five tips that will make your experience really smooth without surprises or hitches when you begin in the starting zones of the Land of Shadows. This video won't contain spoilers about NPCs, weapons, story, or anything like it. I will only mention new mechanics and things you should be prepared without any details, so you can find out for yourself and don't get caught off guard when you play the DLC. There are two bonus tips at the end of the video, so be sure to watch till the end. Please give this video a like and subscribe, that will help the channel a ton. I appreciate you being here. So let's begin. The first tip is marking new items and show recent items tab. Turn on the new feature marking new items to have every new item you loot a little exclamation icon on top so you can target them quickly in your inventory. Also, turn on the new recent items tab so you can see a list of recent looted items in case you missed them. And if you have a ton of everything like me, weapons, armor, materials, consumables, everything, you will have a hard time scrolling to find that new item you just got. I thought this was the default feature, uh, but you have to turn it on. So go to system, display, and at the end, turn on the two options. Second tip, it's enemies are tough. The majority of the new items and bosses in Shadow of the Earth Tree hit like a freaking truck and have plenty of life. So be prepared with a character with 120 to 150 level or more. I'm playing with 120 myself. Have a good build and items that can help you defeat those enemies and stay alive in the Lands of Shadow. I'll be posting new DLC builds in the channel, so be on the lookout for them in the near future. But if you're looking now for a build to start the DLC, I recommend any strength-based build uh, with their variation like Faith, Arcane, or Pure Strength, and the good old Dexterity build or Arcane builds like the Bleed build. Check the video in the upper right corner with the build that I started the DLC. Third tip, find and use the Scattered Tree Fragments and Revered Spirit Ashes. Like I said before, all enemies are tougher than the base game. And leveling your character with runes is not the only way to make yourself stronger now. This new DLC leveling mechanic works around using two new types of items. They are the Scattered Tree Fragment and the Revered Spirit Ash that you can find in the world. The Scattered Tree Fragment will increase the damage you make and decrease the damage taken. The Revered Spirit Ash will increase the Summon Spirit and the Turrence ability to deal and negate damage. And like the Golden Seed in the base game, you need a set amount of Scattered Tree Fragment or Revered Spirit Ash to continue enhancing your character. The way to do this is uh, going to any side of Grace in the DLC and select the new option of Shadow Realm Blessing. This type of leveling is entirely optional, but if you find the DLC really, really challenging, I recommend taking advantage of them and it will only work in the Land of Shadow, not in the Lands Between. Fourth, use Summon Spirits. Unlike the base game, there are a ton of open areas that you now can summon your spirit to help you clear them. It's not only in boss areas, also there are new items that will boost or work around summon spirit, so it's a good option if you find the DLC challenging. So before entering the DLC, or if you're playing it now, go back and upgrade and max your favorite spirits. Fifth tip, read messages on the ground. In my first five hour playthrough that I did, uh, reading messages from people were really helpful and life-saving, letting me know about enemies' ambushes, uh, places, items, dead ends, and even the occasional funny message that <laughs> don't make your experience complete. It's sometimes overlooked by players, but I recommend using them and also create your own messages to help fellow Tarnish in their experience. So now the bonus tip that I said in the beginning is that the first hours a playthrough, you need to have an option to neutralize poison buildup, like the incantation Flame Cleanse Me, Cure Poison, uh, Lord's Aid, Law of Regression, or consumables like the Speckled Heart Tear and the Neutralizing Boluses. And another bonus tip is that you can move in and out of the DLC by using the map and just pressing R1 and switching between the maps of the Lands of Shadow and the Lands Between. So that's the video guys, those are the most important tips you need to know before and while you play the beginning of Shadow of the Earth Tree. If you have another tip that I didn't mention, please comment it down below. Let's all have a great DLC experience. Uh, thank you for watching, take care, be safe, and see you on the next video. Ciao!